Jordan, thanks. And as many of you know, we are less than 70 days away from the next solar eclipse. On April 8th, it will cast the shadow of the moon on a narrow path across the Earth. The state of Texas will especially have a front row seat to this. The eclipse is set to be another spectacular event, attracting an historic amount of tourists to the state. News West 9's Dan Grigsby tells you much more tonight. That's right, right. The great eclipse of 2024 is a little bit over two months away. Occurring on April 8th, this will be the first total eclipse in the U.S. since August of 2017. And unlike the previous eclipse, this upcoming one will pass through Texas, which means we should see some pretty cool effects right here in West Texas. Now, unfortunately, we're going to miss out on the path of totality, which is going to be a little bit further off to the east for uh, areas like San Antonio, Kerrville, uh, upwards towards Dallas. It's going to travel towards Arkansas, Indiana, eventually Ohio, and then exit the United States through Maine into Canada. Now, one of the biggest differences between this eclipse and the one that we saw back in October is that this is a total eclipse. What we saw back in October was called an annular eclipse, where we saw a ring of the sun around the Earth. Now, um, with this, the moon is going to completely cover up the sun, and that's going to make it basically pitch dark in the middle of the day uh, for some areas, the areas that are in the path of totality. That is not going to be us. But this is basically, basically what happens is the earth, the moon, and the sun all form a straight line with one, of, one another, and that's, that's pretty rare for the United States or really anywhere uh, in the world. So... Uh, basically, we're going to be in an area called the penumbra partial shadow. So we're not going to be in the full eclipse, but we will be covered up in part of it. About 90% um, of the sun is going to be covered where we live here in West Texas. The umbra full shadow, that's going to be the path of totality. And if you live in the path of totality or if you're going to be in the path of totality, uh, at that point, you can for a brief period look up at the eclipse without any eye protection, but only for a brief moment. Once the sun starts to reappear, you're going to need to put on the proper eye safety wear. So for us, we do need to wear the proper protection. Don't look directly at the sun without. So um, sunglasses are not sufficient protection, unfortunately, or welding uh, glasses for that matter. Um, also, if you don't have uh, anything to view the sun with, uh, you can also make a pinhole and cast the shadow onto the ground. That's another popular way that you can view um, this eclipse. Now, this eclipse is going to be historic, not just because of the physical event, but also because of the amount of people that are going to travel to the state of Texas. We could see more than one million visitors arriving to Texas to view this spectacular feat of nature. According to the great American eclipse.com, Kerrville, Texas, which isn't too far away from our viewing area, they have about 24,000 people that live there and they're located in the path of totality. They are expecting up to 400,000 tourists to show up and view the eclipse. So although we won't get to see the total eclipse right here in town, at least we won't have to deal with the massive traffic problems expected in areas further off to the east.